Hello you guys and welcome back to today's video. It is the end of October, the beginning of November. I cannot wait to share all of my loved ones and not so loved ones products that I have used over the course of this month and I have to admit that I'm very surprised and some of the products are not going to be, not going to be mine so if I'm going to be sharing to start with La Vie Veil. This is Domel's favorite, one of his favorite colognes or perfumes or scents. We love this one. It's iconic, brings really good memories and every time he wears it, uh, I fall in love with him deeper and deeper. Next up, we have the hair mask. This is by Trader Joe's. This is a shea butter and coconut oil. I gotta say that this mask was very nourishing. I would definitely recommend it. It's not that expensive and you can only put it between three to five minutes. You can put it in for more, but while you're showering, you can just put it inside of your scalp, like and just massage your hair and it's gonna be very nutritious. So that is, if that's something that you would like to try, try this, you're gonna love it. Next up, we have the Elemis Peptide 4 Plumping Pillow Facial. We've talked about this, how I felt about it. I still think that this is such an amazing um, overnight hydrating mask, but it's also very expensive, so I don't know if that will be something that you would like to do. That's just me. Next up, we have the Aloe Vera Deep Cleansing Foam. Uh, the male said that this felt like the cleansers by Estee Lauder, where they feel like really nice, but then they just like kind of be little... like very dry. To me, I, I don't think I had that feeling. Maybe because probably his combination to oily and I'm more drier. So I didn't have that feeling. But I love that so far. Next up, we have finally the Coconut Miracle Oil Lotion. I gotta admit that I'm very um, here and there when it comes to body emulsif emulsification and nutritionness and moisturiz moisturizations on my body. I don't know. I just have a hard time applying moisturizer on my body. Um, I have tons of moisturizer for my body and when I get out of the shower at night, I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. I'm just gonna put my skincare in and just go to sleep and I should be more mindful. However, this is an okay. I felt like this, I just grabbed this for the scent, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's not as nutritious and moisturizing for my body. I'm gonna go ahead and take away all the, box, the empty boxes. Now we have the hydrating serum. This is a hyaluronic acid with glycogen by Beauty Bay. This is a beautiful brand. I personally think that they are very affordable. They just go with whatever they are giving you. Uh, the main ingredients were the two that I mentioned previously, and I think that it didn't do anything magnificent. I only see, I was only able to see the hydration when I touched my face, but it didn't plump my skin. It didn't. I don't think I would purchase it again. I they have other products that I'm personally more familiar and more, uh, I'm more into them, but that wasn't a hit for me. Next up, we have the 3 Minute Miracle Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. I got the, a couple of these ones. You'll see them probably throughout October and November. Um, empty boxes or empty products. Uh, this is an okay moisturizing mask. I don't think it did anything for my for my hair. It was just more like silicone applied to my hair. And they just felt more like um, silky smooth. But it, I don't think it, 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 it did actually anything for my scalp. So that's me. Next up, we have the retinol and collagen. This is the hydrogel patches by Misoli. I personally like them. The fact that they have retinol, I don't know if it's because of that, but when I apply them, they would tingle around my eye, under my eye area. And I was like very surprised by it because, <coughs> excuse me, I never, I have never felt like that before. Once that they are open, they are only good for three months, so could be mindful when you're opening a products, always research that. Um, next up, we have the Simply Skin Solution. This is a Japanese skin solution, uh, skin lotion, I'm sorry. Um, I think that I always have a hard time because the translation, like if you see in the back, translations are not always accurate. But this is, um, I want to say it's kind of like an essence, but also it's like a gel, very liquidy um, lotion. And when we applied it on the body, it almost felt like aloe vera, but it was very plumpy, very hydrating for the skin. Um, you did have to stand for a little bit if you wanted to right away sit down because it is very sticky um, and it goes away once uh, the skin absorbs it. But uh, this is a really good, I want to say, another option if you don't want to do the regular lotions. Uh, I think Domel fell in love with them. It's, he finished most of it. I want to say I only had like this and he had the rest of it because he was really into it. And he actually purchased another one, similar product. And we are very excited to see kind of like transitioning to other 
brands in other countries because we honestly are open about it. Next up, we'll, we're gonna go ahead and see right here. We have this one, this is the L'Oreal Midnight Serum. I actually have the other bottle open. I'm very surprised that this product finished right away. The reason being is because I felt like um, it only lasted us like two months and I don't know if it's because we're using it both of us morning and night. And then on top of that, um, it's only one fluid ounce. So I feel like, you know, they want you cautiously just to play like three to four drops. And it's like, uh, sometimes you just don't have the time. So just three to four, you're like, you're not gonna, I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna, psh, that's it. That's all. And I'm gonna apply it directly to my face. I personally think this is a really good plumbing hydrating serum. Uh, I personally have noticed more hydration and, and more glowy skin than usual. I would continue recommending to use that one for the moment. I think it's a really good buy. If you get it at Costco, if you guys haven't seen that review, go ahead and watch it. Then we have the ordinary acetic acid suspension. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you. I think this one, um, This moisturizer was fairly uh, easy to finish. Um, when I applied it, for some reason, my hands, I've talked about it in previous videos, are sometimes very delicate because I, uh, Domel does certain chores at the home and I'm usually, I wanna say 80%, 95% more washing the dishes. And for some reason, my, my hands are very, very dry and they are very uh, sensitive. For some reason, one time I applied this product on my face and then I applied the residue on my hands. I have always recommend that if you have residue. So just don't wash it right away. Kind of like use that product for you. Long story short, I felt like this product was giving me a tingling sensation, very uncomfortable, and I just didn't like that. Um, I didn't see any benefits on my skin. I don't know if I would recommend this uh, openly. Next up, we have the vitamin C. This is the peptide uh, brightening cleanser. This went through so much. Um, first of all, I, I didn't like the fact that it had scrubs in it. Second, the scent is very strong. I, if you, listen, um, if I can handle certain scents, let me see which one has a scent, like this one has a scent and it's a, such an indulging scent, like, a, like a spa, like, but this is such a horrendous, I'm sorry, like, I love all, like, obviously I love some of the products, but this just wasn't it. It just, uh, I, I just don't know. I like, Duomel and I, we had such a hard time finishing this product because it was like, just standing there with just a little bit. It just, the scent is super, super strong and the beats of this vitamin C peptide, I felt like it was just not it for it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Next up, we have the vitamin C 10% Revital Leaf L'Oreal. I think um, I wanna stick to the um, Neutrogena vitamin C's because I saw more uh, of, uh, texture uh, improvement. However, with this one, it just wasn't it. I felt like I, I was playing a primer because of the texture. It was just in my favorite. It wasn't my favorite. I'm sorry. Um, next up, we have the La Roche Posay. This is the 50 mineral. It's an okay uh, SPF. I think uh, I would need to actually explore the fuller size because this is good if you want to see if you have any type of reaction. Then we have the Retinol Skin Renew and Daily Microdose. I'm not gonna lie, this month has been a very interesting because I had to stop using that product because I've been using this uh, AHA, BHA, 3% uh, and 32% and 30%, I'm sorry. And I, I couldn't use this one. So when I was using this product, it felt okay. I didn't notice any benefits because again, it takes so much time to use Retinol uh, to take the real results you see your, in your skin. So I don't think, um, I don't think I have a really good mindset on that one. Next up, we have this Hyaluronic and Vitamins Eye Cream. This is by the brand Glam Fox. It's a very good hydrating eye cream. I did notice improvement under my eyes. I felt like um, lately I've been working more overnight. So I usually go to sleep around 4 a.m., 3 to 4 a.m. And this product felt amazing. I really, really loved it. It was very lightweight. It lasted such a long time. And um, I just personally like it. I would recommend it. It was like $7. Next up, we have this moisturizer. This is the Olay Regenerate Vitamin C Peptide. I had other expectations. I don't think I would ever purchase it or recommend it. I think um, I just had really uh, 
I just have to kind of like put away the fact that I love the brand and this product wasn't it. I think uh, it just needed something more. The benefits that I saw, it was just kind of like brightness and less dullness, but I was expecting more. And then the consistency, it was very lightweight and the scent isn't as strong as a cleanser. But let me tell you when I say that, this is not, this is just, isn't it? I'm sorry, I just, I'm not feeling happy about this. Uh, I feel like I wasted my money on that personally. Um, next up, we have the Milk. Uh, this is the Watermelon Brightening Face Mask. I personally think that for the very first time, it was nice to use. It was like very iconic. You can put it on. But for some reason, as the time went by, you can only use it for nine months, um, the product started like breaking down and I, it was really hard to use it. Like you can tell that there's product inside of it. And if you don't want to waste it, of course, you would just have to open it up and try to figure out how to take that off and then just apply it. But to me, this is just a messy product. I wouldn't recommend to uh, purchase it. I don't know, maybe I just got a bad batch, but it just reflected a lot for being my first time experience. However, I do have other milk products that are also <laughs> kind of like a deodorant container. So I'm excited to try the other ones. I'm hopeful that they won't break because I am always um, open to second and third uh, first impressions. Next up, we have this. Um, this is a R um. R-M-K-N-D-S uh, hand cream, hand cream, and uh, this is okay, I, I wouldn't recommend it. It's, it was horrendous, it was very lightweight. Next up, we have this beautiful bottle of sake. This was so sour, you guys. It looks fabulous for a picture, but I, I may just even take a picture and share it, but I don't think it, I don't think I was a fan of it. Maybe I should try other um, sakes. Next up, we have the True Soft Argan Oil. This is a soft thing hair oil. I've talked about Maria Nila so many times and she does such a wonderful job when it comes to doing really quality products. I think I actually go ahead and see if I can take off the whatever is over here. Um, I personally think that all of her products that I've tried personally are amazing. I would recommend it 1000%. Uh, there's nothing in there literally. Um, but I, I think uh, if you are able to get your hands onto these products, give them a try and i love them they are really really nice they're vegan cruelty free they are good for 12 months you can recycle the bottle it's amazing i just always recommend their, her products because they're mamma mia next up we have let's see this is an empty box this is a virgin marula luxury luxury facial oil this facial oil was okay i domel said that he loved it because the experience that the luxuriousness he felt it but I, I wasn't a fan of it. I think that there's other Marula oils that are way less expensive from five to 10 to $15 that could do the same job. And packaging, it's amazing. I love how the concept of white and the colors, but was it, it, it just wasn't it for me. I'm not gonna lie. Next up, we have this nectar. I don't remember the name of it. Royal, Royal Tulip Nectar Moisturizing Nectar Hydrating Moisturizer. This has a very particular scent, kind of like almost honey-like, and I feel like it's a very, very like honey. I, I personally didn't enjoy the product. It, it got sticky and it kind of like, it was just weird. I, I just, it was weird. I, I have another bottle. Um, so I'm gonna probably use it for my neck and my and the back of my ears where I get really dry in this month. But I think that this is an okay product for me. It's very hydrating, very nourishing, very moisty when it comes to giving you that suppleness. So that is something if you are into like a very sticky, very like almost honey-like products on your skin, that you're gonna love that one. I did a review also about the Hydra Biome Probiotic Super Dose Face Mask. This is a really good uh, moisturizing mask. I would recommend it. Um, next up, we have the Pacifica. We already talked about this. This was okay, vitamin C with marine extracts. I, I wasn't even into actually doing a, let me see if I actually have the box. I don't have the box here with me. But um, this just wasn't it for me. I felt like it needed something more. I felt like it was just applying water. It was horrible. I'm sorry, Pacifica, you have amazing products, but this is not one of them, and I don't recommend it. I actually have the orange one that comes with the glycolic and vitamin C, and hopeful that that one fills and works better. But this just, I didn't see anything in it, so it's just a waste of my money. Next up, we have the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus 
hyaluronic acid. I love this product. This product felt amazing on my skin. I would recommend it. Repurchase it again. It's so affordable. It's been doing less than $10. Once it's open, it's only good for 12 months, which is amazing. I love the fact that it was in a squishy bottle. Uh, when I applied this in my hands and they were sensitive, I didn't feel like that tingling sensation as, that I actually had with the acetylic acetylic acid and this product was just heaven to me i love this product so this is a big major breakthrough for my skincare uh when it comes to that next up we have this neutrogena rapid firming collagen triple lift serum i think that this is a really nourishing and hydrating serum i was gonna say moisturizer but no moisturizer serum um it's just expensive it's almost 50 dollars, and i i don't think it's worth 50 dollars. i think i would be able to pay probably i don't know 15 dollars the max but feels really good it does feels more hydrated in your skin but it didn't do any tiny firming lifting nothing like that so be mindful last but not least i am gonna close with the kills super multi-corrective eye opening serum this was on all case i think I, I still need to dive in into more eye creams or more fuller size when i grab this one so when i use this type of products i almost feel like i get them because i just want to have a a feel of what actually how they feel about it like on my skin but if you guys have any questions comments recommendations let me know in the comments down below i'm always so grateful for all of your support thank you guys and i'll see you next month on the favorites of november